In this video today, we are figuring out how to make money in Hogwarts Legacy throughout the different stages of the game. Like the video if you learn anything, comment your favorite methods, and subscribe for more Hogwarts Legacy content. Now let's get right into it. The first way to make money in Hogwarts Legacy is these eyeball chests that can be found throughout Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, and the world map. The only way to open this chest is if you have the spell Disillusionment. Likely you get this spell relatively early in the main story quest. You will have to cast Disillusionment out of you from the chest and then you should be able to open it. By opening the chest, you receive 500 galleons. But the problem with this method is the fact that you cannot open these chests more than once. That's right, they do not respawn more galleons for you to steal. Another huge issue is it takes forever to look for these chests. If you have the time and are willing to take the long route to get the money, be my guess. But it isn't my favorite way to make money in Hogwarts. The second best way to make money in Hogwarts is to sell the gear in your inventory. You can do this by talking to vendors in Hogsmeade, which you can access early in the game. This is a great method to make money since you naturally find gear in chests while playing the main quest, the side quest, or wandering the world. Of course, you can target gear as well by going to treasure vaults to look for gear, but it is important to note that gear scales on your level. So don't be afraid to sell legendary gear when you find common gear with better stats. On top of that, you can change the appearance of your gear by hovering over it in the menu and pressing the X button. This will allow you to change the appearance of your gear you are wearing to whatever gear you have in the inventory or that you have sold. My issue with selling gear as your main income is the selling price of the items and your inventory space. Selling items can range from 60 for common gear up to 200 or more galleons for legendary gear. You won't be able to find legendary gear left and right to sell. This means you won't get the bang for your buck using this method, but it is better to sell your gear rather than destroying it. But speaking of inventory, using this method can suck if you are doing multiple treasure runs and find yourself mid run with a max out inventory. If you have a max out inventory and open a legendary chest, you will get a notification that your inventory is full and you will lose the legendary item you open. Only way to not lose this item would be to make sure you have at least one item gear slot open, then open the chest. This is still a better method than hunting down the eye chest, but if you're using this method, make sure you always have room in your inventory. The last method to make money in Hogwarts Legacy is my favorite and what I think is the best way to make money. Sadly, you will have to progress further into the main story quest to access this ability, but it is selling magical bees. The price of selling beasts is always 120 galleons, so you don't have to worry about catching rare shiny unicorns to make the most money. Also, there are beast dens stationed throughout the map that will respawn with more beasts after waiting a day. The area I like to go hunting for beasts would be in the north forward bog and forbidden forest. There are multiple camps you can farm either going from south to north or north to south. I recommend not stopping by the mooncalf dens and hitting all the other dens in that area instead. I know other people recommend mooncalf dens, but I just don't like having to wait for the nighttime to be able to capture the magical beast. I'm trying to make this method as fast as possible while not going crazy farming the same beast over and over again. Speaking of the fastest way to capture a magical beast, I highly recommend switching your difficulty to storm mode. This will give you the ability to capture beasts as soon as you use your beast bag and you won't have to spam X multiple times to capture them. Also, the spell sheet I recommend to use is Disillusionment, Glacius, and Levioso. Disillusionment gives you the ability to sneak up to camps to see if there's any rare or shiny beasts and more importantly gives you the jump to capture beasts before they fly away. Glacius and Alevioso helps you capture beasts before they can fly or run by freezing or slowing them. This is the best method to make money in Hogwarts Legacy since you will be consistently making 120 galleons for every beast no matter what the type. They also respawn in the same location after waiting a day. This means you can farm the beast dens every day cycle to get whatever amount of money you want. This is a lot more fun in my opinion since you can possibly find shiny or rare beasts 
and in one run i was able to make about 350 galleons so out of these three methods the best is to capture magical bees but if you haven't gone far enough with the main story quest the best method would be to sell your gear that you find throughout the world if you are having trouble with the combat system i'll leave a video for you at the end like the video if you learned anything and subscribe for more hogwarts like see videos it's your belief peace